Let's get more now on the latest violence in the Middle East. The Palestinian author and human rights activist Susan Abu Hawa joins me now from New York. I suppose one key question here is what can be done to try to end this cycle of tit-for-tat violence? Well, first of all, it's um, it's not a cycle of violence. Um, one side is dying and the other is, is reigning death. The Palestinians do not have an air force. Um, we don't have a military. We don't have any kind of organized military. We don't have planes or tanks or military jeeps or helicopters or drones. We don't have the high technology death machines that Israel has. We're principally unarmed native civilian population that is quite literally being wiped off the map. Our society is being destroyed. It's being erased and dismantled by um, by Israel in so many ways. And like all violated indigenous people, we resist. We we resist passively and actively. We resist nonviolently and violently. And in the face of this racist megalomania nation um, that upholds Jewish supremacy and privilege at our detriment, we should not be expected to lie down and die. Israel. Can I just interrupt you there? I mean, I think the Israeli response would be to that, that it would be very simple for this violence to end if Hamas stopped firing rockets into Israel, threatening Israeli lives. That's actually not true at all. Um, You know... Are you denying that Hamas are firing rockets? Israel began... You know, things don't start when Hamas fires rockets. First of all, uh, the entire Gaza Strip has been under um, this barbaric siege in which... Israel actually limits the amount of food that goes in or out. They bomb Gaza whenever they whenever they feel like it. I mean, it's uh, as an occupied, oppressed people, it is anything that Palestinians do is actually in response. These um, arguments so I don't, have been well rehearsed on both sides, but the key question I was asking you before is what do you think can be done to try to end this violence before uh, many more civilians die? Well, I think the people who are killing need to stop doing that. And I think it's Israel. I think they need to, to withdraw their planes and their tanks and their guns. And they need to stop raining death on this besieged civilian population in Gaza. And don't you think this, ha- this- ha- Hamas could also do something? They could stop firing these ro- rockets. After all, they're not going to win militarily. But to meanwhile, a lot of Palestinian those, those civilians rockets, could those die. Those rockets have not hurt anybody. Those rockets have not hurt anybody. Israel likes to say, oh, they, they did, you know, 10, 20, 100, 200 rockets. And yet there, 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 there are no casualties. The only casualties are Palestinians. It's our homes that are, that are demolished. It's our children who languish in Israeli jails. It's our lands that are being confiscated. It's our homes that get raided nightly and our children who are the ones who are terrorized. It's not Israelis. We are not occupying them. It's the other way around. This is not, these are not two equal sides, madam. This is, this is not a cycle of violence. This is a colonial situation. This is a master occupied a situation of of power and powerlessness. This can, has can to I be just a ask you one more time. Do you, do you think there's you, any way to de-escalate this situation? Absolutely. The world, the international community, has to has to stand up to Israel once and for all and end this megalomania. They have to. You know, we, as you said, we have no power. We have. We are a defenseless society. That you know, Israel does with us what they want when they want to. And and some nobody is protecting Palestinians. Okay. Palestinians are dying.